greetings from the apocalypse. So today in the studio, I'm going to show you when and how to remove a cabochon stone from a bezel setting. We're going to use my unsetting tool, tool number three in my master setting tool set. Okay, so this is something that happens to the best of us. We've got these lovely tourmaline stones and they're being set and everything's happy and groovy. But at some point when they were being set, that stone popped up on the side a little bit. And if you don't notice it, you continue to set. And then it's sort of held in place, but not held in place like it should be. Because basically you can just see that top edge of the girdle is sticking out just a little bit. So this is one of those instances where we're going to use the unsetting tool to press the bezel away a little bit and then get the stone seated properly. And then we'll reset. So this is something that happens to all of us. You're setting, you're grooving, you're pressing, you're all happy. You get to the end and you're like, oh, fuck me. I got a little end popped up. It can happen when you're setting it. Um, it just, it's so common, you know what I mean? Yeah. But the problem is if you don't notice it immediately, if you keep going, mm -hmm. we have the situation we have now, which is by no means tragic, but I'm just saying, which is that it's held everywhere, mm -hmm. but the edge of the stone is up and out mm -hmm. in a spot, which means sooner or later, either your stone will break because it's exposed right there. Do you know what I mean? Like you'll hit it just right, your stone will break, or it'll come out of the bezel. So neither of those are good things. Yeah. This is when you look to the number three unsetting tool, the master setting tool set sparkle sparkle uh this is going to save our bacon in situations like this because we need to get the stone out right mm -hmm. do we want our stone to break no do we want our bezel to be messed up no, no. we want to be able to just stick it back in there and and fix mm -hmm. it so that's when you need something like this this is just a very highly polished wedge mm -hmm. is all it is tiny highly polished we're going to gently press it between the stone and the bezel to open a little space so that we can either pull the stone out or push it in, you know what I mean? One or the other until we can get it back where it needs to be, okay? So, when you hold one of these tools, you put it in the palm of your hand, mm -hmm. and then I just put my forefinger right on top because that way I, that's like how I kind of control it because mm -hmm. all the force comes down your arm. We're gonna position that little tip right between, oh, hold it up so mm -hmm. hopefully you can take oh, a good yeah. look you yes, see what yeah. i mean mm -hmm. and it's got a little curve there to accommodate the curve of your cabochon so here's a real macro view of the end of the unsetting tool and you can see just like i was saying it's a very highly polished wedge um, the little underneath spot, the curved spot, that you put right up against the stone, that creates a little bit of clearance so that you're less likely to scratch up your stone. So you just use that very skinny little point to pry open the bezel gently and lovingly. And because it's so polished, unless you do something too crazy, you'll be able to unset the stone without too much damage to your bezel and definitely no damage to your stone, which is what you're hoping for. My hands will not cover everything as I'm doing this, but I'll do the best I can. What I usually do too is I'm going to look and I'm going to find the best spot. Yeah. Like the spot where I feel like I have the best chance of getting it in getting here. It in. Because it's really, sorry, Alexis. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's, you always want to look for your best advantage. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Because getting that first little opening is the hardest part. Once mm -hmm. you get the first opening, we just sort of slide this around the side and it's really not a big okay. deal. It's getting that first little opening. Like an oyster. Yes, makes me exactly. Feel like. <laughs> Um, cause you want the least damage, you know, a right. lot of times you will have to maybe sand the very top edge of the bezel a little bit after mm -hmm. you one set, but you're looking to not, not like, you know, yes, make crunch a, it. Yeah. exactly right. Yeah. So I, I think I have found the spot where I feel like I can get this in between there a little bit and I'm just pressing in a little bit. This is not the moment for big violent movements and like, you know, ratcheting it back and forth. <laughs> okay very small movements because mm -hmm. all I need to do once I create a tiny little opening is move right next to it and open it up a little bit there 
and I'm just going to work my way along pressing this in because the wedge itself is going to create that little bit of space. Mm. So it's not the kind of thing where you like push it in there and then you're like, rrr, rrr, rrr. Yeah. okay, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Which is almost like the urge, if you know what I mean. Like, let's, yeah, let's get that like open. Jam it in and take it out. But don't. You want to be loving and gentle so that we get minimal damage. And Alexis, I'm sorry. I think I'm pointing basically my bun just straight at your head. So okay. I apologize in advance for... Uh, Can you see that, how I have the tip in there? Mm -hmm. Okay, that is the beginning. And then we're gonna slide a little to the side. Mm -hmm. And you just start creating some space because once you get a little room in there, we'll either be able to push it in or pull it out, one or the other. You so you see, like I have a little opening there and I'm gonna work to the side a little bit just till I have enough room to wiggle it out mm -hmm. or in. Probably out, because normally I like to pull it out, take it to look at, at the stuff inside, make sure that there isn't any issues with that. You know what I mean? And yeah. just make sure everything's, cool before we go back to Ta -da! oh yeah it is. okay so then you'll have, like I said, like a tiny bit of sanding with a little green paper right at the top. Because, I mean, it's impossible to do it without making a mark at all. But you're looking to just remove a tiny bit and then just be back in action. Okay? So that's why even though the unsetting tool is a tool that, like, you never want to use it. But yeah. you need to use it. Yeah. And it will save your behind. Yes. <laughs> totally makes sense. Okay? So let's take a tiny bit of green paper and smooth that. Okay. And then we'll stick the stone back in, you know, make sure everything's nice and level. And then we'll just set we'll it, it again. Right. Okay. There, now we're making a video. Okay, so there it is. Her bezel looks all good. We're ready to put the stone back in. Kim did a lovely job. So we'll just press the stone in, make sure the height's good and go back to setting. Tragedy averted.